Check out these nine odd but effective ways to remove background noise in Final Cut Pro. These are really handy techniques to know if you're doing any kind of video production or editing because it can make your final product sound a lot cleaner and look more professional. So whether you're shooting an interview or want to get rid of some pesky background noise, I promise I'll share a way that cuts annoying noises automatically and makes you smile. Stay till the end to see an unusual trick to stop background noise dead in its tracks. The first step is to identify background noise. Most of the time it's obvious you have background noise, but occasionally it's hard to tell and you need to dig in to identify background noise in your footage. The simplest and easiest thing you can do is to listen. Put on some headphones and turn up the volume. Not too loud, but listen for any hums, noises, or rattles. Let's use another sense, sight. Let's look at the clip waveform to see if we have any background noise. Click on the timeline clip appearance button and select waveform only. In your clips, look for small and peak waveforms. Zoom in close and look for waveforms in silent parts of your clip. These small and peak waveforms are noise. Let's kill them. Step two, Final Cut Pro can analyze and fix audio problems like background noise, hum, and loudness automatically. For step two, select your clip, then click the Enhancements pop-up menu below the viewer and choose Enhance Audio. Go to the Audio Inspector and look at the Audio Enhancements section. A green check mark to the right of Enhancement means the clip was analyzed and, if necessary, adjusted. And a blue check box means the enhancement was turned on. You can manually activate any enhancement you want. Step three, if the auto enhancement didn't work, move on to step three, noise removal. Activate noise removal and watch the waveform in your clip. You'll see the waveform changes when Final Cut Pro removes noise. Use the amount slider to adjust the effect. Play back your clip as you adjust noise removal and listen. Don't go too far or it might sound fake. In a second, I'll show you how to remove background noise while someone is talking in your clip. Step four, have you ever had an infuriating hum buzzing in your footage? I have, and step four will fix it. Most likely this is caused by mic cords getting too close to electrical cables or appliances. The hum is either 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending upon your electrical power. In the United States, it's 60 and in the UK, it's 50. Enable hum removal and then select the frequency you want removed. If you're not sure, test out both and see which one works. Are you ready to remove background noise? Has this video been helpful? If so, hit that like button so others can see these tips. Thanks. Step five. Step five is perfect for focusing on a talking subject. Select your clip and go to the audio inspector. Under audio enhancements, enable voice isolation. This option is good if you're in a loud environment like a busy store or airport. With this turned on, Final Cut will boost human voices and reduce other parts of the audio signal. The amount is set to 50%, but you can add more. The higher you push the slider, the more intense the voice isolation becomes. Be careful because it'll start to sound artificial around 60% or above. After it's processed, listen to the clip before and then after with voice isolation. Listen for sounds that have been removed that you want to keep in and then adjust the slider. In just a moment, I'll show you how to place your mic to reduce background noise. Step six. If you need further customization, then try out step six. Final Cut comes with a built-in denoise effect. Go to effects and scroll down to specialized under audio effects. Drag and drop denoise onto your clip. Go to the audio inspector and you'll see denoise under effects. You can pick a preset or use the default to start with. The default and Wawa denoiser are good for most situations. Click the triangle next to parameters or the advanced effect editor UE for a more graphical version. Adjust the effect, but be careful not to push it too far or you'll get yucky audio artifacts. Step seven. Step seven is prevention. The best way to remove background noise is when you are shooting your video. Before you hit record, take a minute to listen for any background noises like traffic, air conditioners, and fans. Think ahead. Are any noises going to turn on while I'm filming? Turn them off and then start recording. Step eight. Step eight is microphone placement. Use a good microphone and place it in the right spot. Get it close to the person's mouth. If it's a lavalier mic, put it under the chin on the chest. For a boom style microphone, put it about a foot out and up from the person. Make sure it's not in camera. Step nine. Okay, step nine seems ridiculous, but I promise it works. When you're recording a voiceover, drape a blanket over yourself to cut out any noises. The blanket will absorb any background noises and keep them out of your recording. Now that you learned to take out background noise, you may want to check out this video my buddy Reggie made called How to Adjust Audio in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.